issue. Uh, we've had a person here on this show uh, who is a nationally recognized uh, individual uh, dealing with domestic violence. Why don't you say something about youth services and uh, domestic violence, or do you find that to be one of the areas that is of some concern to your division? Oh, there's no question that it is. Um, one of the services that we provide is investigation of child abuse, both child physical and sexual abuse. And there is no question but that children are caught up in, in the battling at home. I mean, there's no question that they are, and they are of, often victims of that. If not emotionally, they are victims physically or sexually. So that's one of the things that we investigate. It's probably one of the more painful areas of investigation that police have to deal with, and it's a very real, very, very present concern for us. Okay, we've got about a minute uh, that allow you, uh, Ms. Viano, to uh, perhaps uh, give us some final comments, and we'll uh, elicit from uh, Captain Meese some final comments before we end this uh, for today. I just want to uh, kind of recap what Captain Meese says. You know, we see that children are also victims within the domestic violence situation, and at the YWCA, we have a children's program because usually if a woman is going to leave her batter, she's going to bring her children with her. So we want to provide services for the woman and her children, so providing that comprehensive service for them. Um, also, when looking at the area of youth services, really feel that, uh, <clears throat> and I see this in Nashville, the need for youth serving agencies to unite if we're going to correct these problems. And I see that happening and just want to encourage the continuation of that because that's how we're going to be able to make a difference. It's with us coming together, joining forces, and making a difference. Captain. Th there's two things I'd like to mention quickly. One is that I would like for us to be able to do a lot more preventive work than, than we <coughs> currently do. Although we do a good bit of that, one of the best programs that we have ever provided in the police department is drug abuse resistance education known as DARE. Mm -hmm. We teach that in the metropolitan schools to fifth and sixth grade kids, and I think it's a long-term behavior modification type of a thing. Another area that I have a real concern about is the area of missing children. We had about 3,500 missing children in 1995, and that includes kids who are um, missing by choice, those who are missing unusually those who are runaways and I think that's an area of major concern there's obviously a problem there and I think it's an area that needs to be looked at carefully and we, we really don't feel like we have the answer although we continue Very to good. look at and it. let me uh, uh, Captain Meese uh, and uh, Ms. Fiano to thank the two of you for coming by and giving us that excellent information and let me encourage you to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.